Osborne was Queen Victoria's favorite family retreat. Here, away from the formality of court life, she could relax with Prince Albert and their nine children. Osborne was a magical place to grow up. The royal children had their own playhouse, the Swiss cottage. It had its own kitchen and dining room, and even a small museum to house the children's collections. English Heritage has spent over one and a half million pounds restoring the Swiss cottage and the children's museum. And over the last seven months, more than 4,000 objects, ranging from wheelbarrows to stuffed animals, have now been removed, cleaned, and painstakingly restored. The restoration involves adding new interpretation to the whole area um, so that we can tell the story of the royal children for the first time at Osborne. We're really hoping the visitor experience will be one of taking a step back in time to um, experience what a royal childhood might have been like for um, Victoria's children. Well, this is one room full of some of the contents from the Swiss cottage. A great mixture. We've got taxidermy, we've got geology. The Swiss Cottage Museum was really um, designed by Prince Albert as a, an educational tool. It was play, it was fun, but nevertheless Prince Albert was able to instill in his children a knowledge of the natural world. Well, this is one of the earliest pieces in the Swiss Museum collection. It was probably given to Prince Albert in around 1850, and it's part of an ichthyosaurus. A fossil. But I think this illustrates Prince Albert's interest in the natural world. Well, this collection of material here is extraordinary. These were given to the Prince of Wales in 1860 uh, when he paid a state visit to uh, North uh, Canada and they were made by the Mi'kmaq indigenous uh, peoples. They're decorated with porcupine quills so you can see these very characteristic Mi'kmaq uh, patterns the ground floor of the Swiss cottage will now become four exhibition rooms and each of those exhibition rooms will introduce you to one or two of the royal children, who they were, uh, what they liked doing and who they became. And at the same time there's things for, for modern day children to do, so there's a dress up box so they can pretend to be some of the, some of the royal children. It's a much more hands on experience, all sorts of th things down at Swiss to um, enrich the viewer's experience. I think Osborne is very special because it is here that one can get very, very close to Queen Victoria, Prince Albert and their family. In no other site, I think, can one really get that glimpse behind the neck curtains, I think, if you like, into the private life of the Victorian royal family. I think the Childhood at Osborne project is a really exciting project because not only will it tell this really interesting and rich story of the royal children for one of the first times, but um, it's a fantastic opportunity to involve our local community on the island and visitors um, and really bring history to life. Mm -hmm.